the L3 Harris CNVDLR, standing for the clip-on night vision device, long range. Let's go over this absolutely amazing clip-on device. I'm gonna go over the pros, the cons, and let you know why that here at Listen to Yarns, we consider this to be the absolute best clip-on night vision device for the money, depending upon your needs and applications. Guys, the clip-on night vision devices has been something that has been gaining a world of popularity over the last few years. And so that led us to looking at the market, seeing what was out there, and bringing those devices into where we could t and &E those devices, get know all the, find out about the nuances of each one of those devices, and that way we could let our customers know what the best device is for their intended applications. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go over this device, just kind of you know front to back and um, get that knocked out. So uh, go from back to front. So starting right here at the back, we have a rubberized light bridge. This is to bridge the gap between your day optic and your, your clip-on night vision device. It protects against any you know spill or anything like that. Moving forward right here on the top, what we have is we have your focus lever. It is very easy to manipulate, especially when you are behind the weapon system. You know, you don't have anything you have to reach up and grab and twist, kind of like on the PVS-30 from Knight's Armament. Um, it is definitely usable, but I do really prefer the, um, the lever that's on here. Now, moving on over, we have your battery port. Now, you, when you receive this device, it will be set up to run off of a CR123, but also included in the kit from L3 is this adapter right here. And with simply screwing this adapter on, you can utilize a double A device, or double, a double A battery, sorry. So that opens up to a, a lot more possibilities depending on the other devices that you're running and also how prevalent batteries are in your location and environment. So giving you a great battery life and also two different options for that. Back here on the back of the device, we have your control system right here. So your control knob. This is to power the device on and off and also control the gain of the device. So raising and lowering the brightness of your image depending upon your environment. And then going to the front, we have your rubberized um, filter on the front or cap on the front. And then you can see into the device there. The optics on this device are absolutely phenomenal. And so is the tube. Coming with an L3 Harris unfilmed white FOSS tube giving you 2376 minimum thumb. Guys, we're seeing these coming anywhere in from 2400 all the way up to 2700. And that it gives you all of the capacity and capabilities that you need to function efficiently to get the job done, no matter what that may be. So you've got a full aluminum housing on the bottom, it utilizes a LaRue locking QD lever. It is easy to don this optic on and off depending upon your needs. So you can simply just take this, throw it on in front of your day optic, clip it on, lock it in, power him up, and you are ready to go. So for your magnification range, you can use this device all the way down to two power, and then you can take it all the way up to 20 power. Now there is some caveats in that, depending upon your environment with photonic barriers and depending on you know, how much ambient light you have, and also the big one is how good of the glass is in your day optic that will definitely play into this. But you can use this from two power up to 20. Where we found that the sweet spot really kind of lies is between 10 and 14 power. And I can tell you for a fact, it is no issue with a 10 to 14 power optic and a decent shooter. You can take this out to 700 to 1,000 yards, no problem. You can definitely push it further than that. But you know, again, depending upon your shooting level and and the optics used and your environment. So you've got great range, you've got amazing build quality, you've got amazing components, great tube. What are the cons of this device? And the only con that there is to this device could be seen as its recoil rating. It is rated up to a 308, 762, or a 65 Creedmoor and anything below that. So it is not Magnum caliber rated. We use these on anything down to a 22 LR, 556, 308, 65 Creedmoor, you name it, and you can just go to town. You step above that, you can damage the unit. 
So hopefully here in the future, we are gonna see you know a newer iteration. I don't think that's gonna be for the next few years, but again, uh, you know L3, they, we've been talking to them about this and to get this up to Magnum rating to where it can be used on calibers such as 300 Win Mag, 338 and 50 cal. But again, that is in the future at the time of this video here, you know, March of 23, um, there is no word on that yet. So when you are looking to use a clip-on device, then you're more than likely already a long range or a precision shooter. So all this does is it doubles your ability. So now you can shoot in the daytime as well in the night. We have, I've shot uh, these extensively and um, I've also used the Knight's Armament PVS-30, some of their other, the A2, the, some of the UNSs and stuff like that. But nothing really compares to this. The one benefit of the Knight's Armament devices is they are Magnum recoil rated. We have a video already out on the KAC PVS-30. So if you're interested or you're needing Magnum rating, go make sure to check that out. But for everybody else who is not utilizing Magnum calibers, this right here, this is the device for you. This is gonna come in, even no matter, it's built like a brick house, but it's still gonna come in with a battery on board at under two pounds. So two pounds might sound like a lot, but think about what all you're getting, the build quality, all being made out of aluminum, and you're putting that on a weapon system that more than likely isn't gonna be that light anyways. You know, a good magnified optic is gonna, you know, weigh a little bit, the rifles and the barrels are gonna weigh a little bit. So again, you wanna make sure that your clip-on device is as light as possible. It's coming in about a pound less, uh, and maybe even more than that actually, than some of the other offerings that are on the market. Talking about the day optic that you utilize, as great as these are, if you take a lower budget, you know, a lower end magnified optic, you're not gonna be doing this optic, this clip on device justice. So anything like Smitten Bender, Tangent Theta, uh, Night Force, ZCO, the Lupo Mark V HD does an amazing job, especially for that price point of that optic. So if you get set up with a good day optic, and if you're in a long range shooter, more than likely you already have that squared away, you can simply grab this out of your bag and take and throw him on and you are set up for success and you are ready to go at just about anything you can throw at it. Guys, if you guys have any questions whatsoever about clip-on devices, helmet mounted, or anything night vision related, please don't hesitate to reach out to Listen to Arms. We love talking to customers. We love trying to build and grow this industry and community to where that we know it can be. So if you have any questions, shoot us a call, kick us over an email, drop us a DM, we'll get you squared away. And as always, stay safe, stay dangerous, stay frosty. We'll see you guys out there.